Hello, my name is Jenny and I run Canine Elements Massage Therapy, providing remedial massage to improve your dog's quality of life. Movement is created through the combined function of muscles, bones and joints all working together. A healthy muscle is one that is smooth and supple. It allows all the muscles to slide and glide in their platforms over each other nice and easily to allow the body to move fully. An injury is something that prevents this. This could be something like a strain, hypertonicity or a trigger point. Whilst these injuries sound minor, they can have a major impact and it's important to be aware that muscular pain can be debilitating. The most common injury is the strain. This is a pull or a tear in the muscle fibres and it occurs when the muscle stretches beyond its normal limits. The body will heal itself by laying down scar tissue. Now this is much more fibrous than healthy tissue and it can restrict the muscle flexibility. This can be as much as up to 50% and that's just in one muscle. So whilst a strain sounds very minor, it can have a major impact. As an example, my own dog had a strain in his back muscles and that actually caused him to go lame to the extent that he could not even get up for food. Strains are graded and the degree will vary depending on the number of fibres that have been torn. The scar tissue cannot be removed completely as the body needs it to hold the muscle together. However, I'm trained to remodel this scar tissue to improve the flexibility within that muscle and restore the movement. Trigger points are a taut band within the muscle. The fibres themselves have constricted into this taut band. In humans, we refer to them as knots. Quite often, you will get one in your neck. Sometimes, if you press it, it will give you relief. Other times, it will send a shooting pain either down your neck or down your arm. This is known as referred pain. When I test for trigger points within the dog, you will quite often see their coat jump, and this is the dog experiencing the referred pain. Left untreated, they will con continue to constrict and can irritate the nerve endings. In their worst form, they can cause ischemia, and this is deprivation of nutrients and oxygen to the muscle tissue. As a qualified therapist, I will locate that trigger point within the muscle, which can be like searching for a needle in a haystack. I will then treat it and this will help to reduce the referred pain the dog is experiencing. Many people assume a well-muscled dog with strong defined muscles is more powerful and very healthy. However, they are quite often confusing a well-muscled dog with a dog that has a hypertonic muscle. A hypertonic muscle, in essence, is one that is extremely tight. A rock-solid muscle is not a fit and healthy muscle. It is in fact a sign that it has been overused and remained in a contracted and shortened state. It feels very tight and a tight muscle is one that is more risk of injury. Canine massage is very, very effective at relieving hypertonicity. So how do you know if your dog has an injury? Well, I'm afraid to say in some cases you may not know. I quite often see dogs for a health check where owners believe their dog is healthy, but I will still find an issue. That's because the dog is being resilient, carrying on as normal and hiding their pain. As the dog's owner, you are more likely to notice any of those subtle changes that your dog may display and give you an indication that they are holding an injury. There are some obvious symptoms and these are usually mobility issues so they could be displaying signs of lameness, limping or stiffness. They may be carrying the leg or not fully weight bearing. There's other everyday issues such as they're struggling to get up and down stairs, in and out the car, can't jump on and off the sofa anymore. There's also physical issues, so maybe they're slowing down, there's a change in their muscle tone, they're yelping in pain and showing signs of discomfort. They might also be reluctant to go on walks now. They could be reluctant to be touched. People often describe their dogs as having aged overnight or seem old before their time. This can be indicative of a muscular injury. 
there are some lesser known signs that you can still look out for and this could suggest that there is a possible muscular injury. These include those cute little tickly spots that everyone thinks are great. Actually that can be very tender and can be irritating the nerve endings. It might be that there's twitching down the dog's back. There could be a coat change such as a flick or in my own dog's case he goes wavy down his lumbar region. They could display signs of change in behaviour or personality. They may appear depressed. They may have posture irregularities, so that could be roaching, which is a curvature of the spine, or sway back, which is a dip in the spine. They may show gait irregularities. They may also have issues with their sporting performance. Now, performance injuries are often mistaken as a training issue. In agility, this may include things such as knocking poles, missing contacts, or refusing weave entry. Performance injuries in fly ball could include turning wide on the box, missing or avoiding jumps. These performance injuries would normally be signs in a dog of a reliable nature, so one who's been competing in the sport for some time, rather than one that is learning the sport. Canine massage works with the whole of the dog's body so it can see if there is any injuries or whether it is a training issue. By being aware of these potential signs and observing your dog, hopefully you will notice if your dog may have a potential muscular injury. Finding an injury early and being able to treat it that much quicker allows for a quicker resolution. Canine massage is a remedial therapy, however it is not a substitute for veterinary care. I comply with UK law by never treating a dog without gaining prior veterinary consent. This is to ensure there is not an underlying condition that massage could be detrimental to. It should mean that your dog is in safe hands. My aim is to improve your dog's mobility and improve their quality of life. Mm -hmm.